gone live for the day. So I'm going to see if I can get one of my old favorites. I managed to dig out my GameCube release, which I'm guessing was about 2003 by the copyright page. Uh, and this is also the version where I have everything unlocked in the save file. Unlike the Dreamcast and the uh, what the PC version, I think there was a PC version that came out. Unlike those, this one didn't come with everything unlocked. You had to actually earn it, like back in the PS original days. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and bother to use those things that I earned, or rather, I think maybe Matt earned for me. I, I'm pretty sure I earned everything back on the original PlayStation and let my boyfriend take over and do it on the GameCube back in college. But now we have a new game plus. Continue, restart. I'm not really sure what the difference is between continue, restart. We uh, also managed to earn up enough money in the mercenaries to buy an unlimited ammo rocket launcher, which I'm going to not use. But, you know, it's, it's a safety blanket. And then the one thing we did not unlock was all these epilogue files that you get from beating the game multiple times on hard mode. Only beat it twice, sadly. It's nice to be able to load up an old save file and have everything still be in place. It's the one area of life where, like, even if I forget what I did and I lose all those skills, I can at least go back and point at this save file. It all began as an ordinary day in September. Old school an achievements. Day in Memorialized in save a files. City controlled by umbrella. No one Poor Jill. Dared to she them. thought it was her last escape. And that lack of strength would she was wrong. To their destruction. She was dead wrong. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only the, they had the sound the mixing on this is fight. just so bad. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance. And my last chance. Raccoon my last City. escape. I think that's the only time in the entire series where you hear her pronounce it that way. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. These, these cutscenes are so much crisper than the PlayStation game. What are they? It's bizarre. I didn't remember uh, everything looking quite so good. to my Resident Evil 2 playthrough in the cutscenes which were pretty much the same between the Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 quality on the PlayStation 1. Didn't make a lot of quality improvements. Mostly just new levels and some new gameplay elements. This is the first sighting of the Umbrella Security Forces. US NBC or something like that? <laughs> that poor asshole. He just never learned to aim for the head. I mean, they, it's comical how badly the city reacts to the zombies considering how they act in actual gameplay. Oh my god. Oh, Jill. If only you knew, Jill. About your terrible future as a puppet for Wesker for some reason. Down you go, and away I go. Wow, this is, even the in-game graphics are much, much better than I remember. Everything looks so much cleaner than it did on the PlayStation. 
I think the GameCube port is really, from what I've read, the best incarnation. It didn't cheaply unlock everything from the very beginning. You still had to actually work to get your unlocks. And yet, uh, still has the better graphics of the Dreamcast port. I mean, oof. I mean, I know those textures are low quality for today's age, but they look so much better than what they achieved on the PlayStation. What? What do you think you're talking about? Everything on the PlayStation looks grainy and gritty. How dare you tell me to Whereas go here, there's actually a little bit of smoothness. I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. I mean, it even still looks good on an here. HDTV. No! That's what I'm playing it on I'm right now. Anyway. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. I started out. I spent like two hours a day getting this stream set up. Because I started out wanting to run it on my PS3, but my PS3 takes off into space every time I use it to play games. So the noises it, were make, it was making were too much to use a microphone on. I'm not leaving. Never. Oh, but what if I want a buddy? He's one of the civilians I remember you can save in the mercenaries mode. Uh, and if you're too slow to get to him, he shows up dead in that container. Just like he does in game. Actually, I think he's placed in a different area. I think he might be in, like, the basement that you run away from the nemesis into. What am I going to use an alarm for down here anyway? Oh, come on. Ammo. Well, I'll take a fade spray. Goddamn defective products. Why would you put defective products behind a cage? That's the least likely place for them, because they don't care about them if they're defective. They probably just give them away to their employees. All the background textures are so much crisper than I'm used to. I can actually sort of read things. I forget, does Jill start out with the Samurai Edge? Oh, and they don't force you to read these instructions in this version of the game either. Remember on the PlayStation version, you they, they show up as items in your inventory that you have to read before they become files. Let's see, M92F Custom. Yeah, it is the, the Star's Custom, but it's not the Samurai Edge. Samurai Ed shows up as, like, the cannon weapon. Uh, see, I can even read that sign. Above the rim? Okay. Exit off? Oh, man. It's so clean. I feel like I could just step up to my TV screen and actually read the little green chalkboard in the last screen. I would like the warehouse key. No other keys there. I know there's the boutique key, though. Oh, gotta grab my gunpowders. I remember always wanting a little bit of handgun ammo in the beginning here. At least before you get the shotgun. Oh, I do not remember how the mixing gunpowder system works, though, in the slightest. There's my boutique key, and I have, yep, there's my infinite ammo rocket launcher that takes up one slot. Oh, I remember you, buddy. You were the best. Comically useless explosions. Okay. Well, I, I shouldn't be needing that. Kinda takes the fun out of the game. Unlocking it is more an achievement than anything. I could have sworn... Oh, I'm looking right past it. Yes, I would like an ink ribbon, but no. 
I do not need to save. I shouldn't need a fade spray this early on. keys. Item management is the difficult part of this game, so every time you free up space... I can read that. I could. I swear I could. There we go. Authorized personnel, raccoon police. Visitors will be severely punished. S severely punished something. I <clears throat> He shot me in the face between your legs. Okay. With background noise provided by Matt playing Counter Strike. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I didn't tell you you had to stop playing Counter Strike. These things happen. Something nice. Oh, I forget what's down this way. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> Besides zombies. A bit of juking. Down to an explosive barrel, huh? Get it. I gave it the good old college try and it failed me. Oof. There's a lot of guys who were pissed at me. by that zombie. Not today, Zambibo. That is a fucking pointlessly difficult area. Can grab myself and her. Interesting that Brad doesn't bust out of that area oh, though. Shit. Oh, did you? dying over there. Now I can get rid of my key. Who needs a key anyway? Now I get to enjoy all of my various rewards. <laughs> Including the... This is... Dino Crisis, I think? Even comes with a nice red wig. Yeah, sick. Go out and kill some dinosaurs. See, this is the detail I didn't notice. Jill's uh, jacket is hung nicely there on the right. That's the, the her waist the whole game. 
for some reason. She has such a nice jacket and she just wastes it. I guess it's probably a little warm there with all the fires going on though. Uh, leather biker girl outfit. No thanks. For some reason, a classy suit. I don't know if that's like an Ada Wong outfit or something. The police girl uniform. Sure, you know, I'm I'm out on the streets. I'm out walking my beat. I love that she's given the police mini skirt for this outfit as opposed to actual pants for her Resident Evil 1 costume. Arcade shops. Those textures are not improved. Oh, oh, fuck. Car. Fuck, that's a lot of dudes. Let me see if I can get past them on my way back. Starting to freak out a little bit. Clarence, can I get a bike, please? Not running is not a good sign. Holy shit. That is a lot of dudes. Brad did get out somehow. Shit. I'm sort of exploring the map since I haven't played this in such a long time. Not good. That was just my controller bugging out. Um, I don't know what caused that. That spooked me. I could die because of that. <laughs> All right. Test. couple. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jill doesn't start with the lighter in this one. I'll have to go get it first. I can leave one zombie. Oh, there's red herbs. Fuck. I forgot about them. September 27th. This is... I'm planning on... Oh, shit. I'm planning on putting this between my Resident Evil 2 playthrough. Uh, because... Uh, first, because it's fun, and I'm... I always have a fun time playing it. And second, because it's sort of a prequel, sort of a sequel to Resident Evil 2 depending on who you ask. Damn it. That 
wasn't what I wanted. Oh, where does this one take me? Well, that's an interesting shortcut. Sorry. Now you're gonna stand. So without Brad busting out of that door, how do I get down there? So fast. <laughs> Damn it, I keep on going all the way down. I wish they'd developed the reload button by this point. Good thing his pathing got a little off course there. double hit on me really. left that reloading tool on me. He is lucky he died before his guts were ripped out. I don't remember that dialogue. fluid now. Gotta f find my way to another item box soon. Just use the green herb and wipe away the debt. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, did I put the other gunpowder A into my item box? I don't remember. Oh man. Hope I didn't fuck that up. too well. I know he's a huge coward, but it seems like as a member of Stars he should have more skills than he has. Ooh, spooky clock tower. The St. Michael clock tower. How foreboding. You having a good time over there, Brad? That's good. <sighs>
Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. Being able to see Jill's face so well makes this uh, a little more unnerving than it was originally. Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. He's after Star's members. There's no escape. Good, I do have room for the lighter. It's the first thing to grab. Combine it with some fuel. I mean, I can check it if I want. Hidden ammo on these pinball machines or something. No? Damn. Should be ammo in. Oh, maybe the cash register. That's got to be it. Secret handgun ammo. Just bottles and bottles of bourbon. sequence it might be a good time to save. Oh hell. Killing him on the stairs seems like a good plan. Time to switch up Halloween costumes for Jill. I grow weary of her simple policewoman ways. I did not forget to put the uh, second bit of gunpowder away. That's a relief. Yeah, I'll keep one on me. Make a quick stop at the save shop. Type up my past adventures. Mm. It's so high resi. It is. It's uh it's definitely the best version. It's high resi resident evil. Yep. Alright, let's get back to murdering zombies. I guess they did put those handcuffs on her outfit. When I saw her handcuffs in the outfit on the uh, in the changing room, I was like, "Oh, well, that's just weird." But but no, it's a part of the outfit. <sighs> Tank controls. Hmm. Looks like my stream is having some troubles. <laughs> 